Having a large reef aquarium may not be all that it's cracked up to be. You see, at one time I had a 210 gallon reef aquarium and while it looked nice and I really did enjoy having it and friends and family would come over and they enjoyed watching the fish and looking at the corals and everything, here's three things I did not like about my large saltwater aquarium. So this saltwater aquarium was six foot long by two foot by 31 inches deep and it sat on top of a 36 inch high stand. It had a canopy on top of it and while it looked really really cool there was a lot of space to work with and now some of you might be thinking I wish I had a lot more room in my aquarium to work with because you've always heard larger the aquarium the better things are. Well with a larger aquarium comes larger pieces of equipment, a larger sump to manage underneath your aquarium. You see when I first transferred over to the 210 gallon reef tank I took my 75 gallon aquariums and I transferred everything over to that tank. I have a video on the channel if you want to see how I moved those reef aquariums and transferred everything. The video is up there in the video library. But my 75 gallon reef tank was jam packed full of corals and it looked amazing. I love the way that it looked. The toadstool coral was out and happy. Tons of zoanthid corals. I had a very large red monopora cap in there. It was the size of like two dinner plates and all of the corals in that 75 gallon aquarium I grew from small frags. So it was a lot of work that I put into these corals and that tank was full and it was doing really, really well. Well, when it came time to move it and I put all of those rocks and corals into the new 210 gallon reef tank, things still looked empty. There was a lot of work that I had to do, a lot of corals that I needed to add. And at the rate that I add corals to my reef aquarium, especially back then, I, I moved really, really slowly and I was very picky and um, took my time adding corals to the reef tank and adding fish to the aquarium as well. So I had a lot of space to fill that I just wasn't filling up really fast. And I always wanted to add more corals to the tank. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. And having a lot of room and space to fill in an aquarium is not necessarily a bad thing. But in this case, it was one of those things where if you're constantly thinking about adding new corals, sometimes you can't really appreciate the look or style of your aquarium if you're constantly worried about adding more stuff, more corals to the tank and constantly having to work on things and it just got to be a little much. Now the second thing I did not like about this 210 gallon reef aquarium is the size. I mean, it was pretty big. Now, sat on top of a 36 inch stand, it was 31 inches deep. Every time I had to put a coral into the tank, I had to get up on a ladder, climb all the way to the top, uh, stick my hand all the way down in the tank to move things. If, I, if something fell over, I had to get the ladder back out and get up there and fix things. And it's not fun every time you do maintenance to pull out a pretty big ladder. So even, even doing water changes, that was a chore. I mean, I used five gallon buckets. So sometimes I just stood there and lifted the bucket up and poured it into the tank. Other times I had to get the ladder out, climb up there. And anything in this hobby, if you overcomplicate it or if if there's anything you don't want to do with your reef aquarium you're just not going to do it and then that maintenance gets left behind and so i felt like i slacked on my maintenance a lot and maintaining the reef tank by climbing on this ladder because there was just some days that i didn't feel like getting out the ladder so i always loved the experience of having a 75 gallon reef tank because that sitting on top of a 36 inch stand i did not need a ladder for that I could reach anywhere I wanted to in the tank. I could easily do water changes. Nothing was really difficult about maintaining or working on the 75 gallon tank because I could reach everything. With the 210 gallon tank, I was constantly getting out the ladder. But the main point of all of this, I guess, if you make things too hard to do, you're just not gonna wanna do them. And I did not like having to pull out a ladder every single time I worked on the tank. Even though the tank ended up being really beautiful um, but you saw that maintenance shift towards the end of the life of that tank if you remember or if you're new to the channel and you look back you can see that there's tons of coralline algae growing on the front of 
the tank, um, just all over the sides. And that's because I would have to climb up a ladder, get down in there and really scrape the sides of the aquarium. Um, I needed more than just my flipper magnet at that point. And it just, it, it got away from me really, really quick. So this brings us to the main reason I did not like my large saltwater aquarium. This is 210 gallons of saltwater we're talking about here. If you've been following the channel since the beginning, you might know this. I don't know how many times I've talked about this on the channel. Maybe not even that many times. So when I first got the 210 gallon tank, I bought it used and the person I bought it from used it as a closed loop system. So not only did it have the holes drilled uh, in the center overflow um, that you normally have in a reef aquarium, it also had two holes underneath it drilled on either side for a closed loop system. Now I wasn't planning on ever using it for a closed loop system. I just wanted a large reef aquarium that fit nicely in uh, the space in my living room. Um, something that I could enjoy with my family and keep pretty much any fish or coral that I wanted to because of course the larger the aquarium the better things are. So what I did was I created two plugs for either hole. So I took some PVC pipe, I took some bulkhead fittings, uh, PVC glue, created two plugs uh, to seal these closed looped um, holes up. So that means underneath all of that rock and sand over there in the corner of the, the tank was a bulkhead with PVC pipe hand tightened to the bottom of 210 gallons of salt water. And so every single time I got under that reef aquarium to do maintenance in the sump, to uh, clean the skimmer, to do anything underneath the tank, constantly running in my mind was what's going to happen to uh, my house if these bulkheads um, fail um, and water floods everywhere. That's going to be tons of water damage in my house. I was I was always concerned that something was going to happen to my house or to the reef tank. Uh, well, actually both. Every single time I messed with the tank, it was always in the back of my mind, which was just worry, anxiety, and stress. And that's never good to have. Um, never good to have constantly. I mean, there were. Of course, moments that I was enjoying the tank, so that wasn't at, it didn't come up to the forefront of my mind. So I didn't um, always, I guess I didn't always think about it until I was under the tank and then it just rushed back to the forefront of my mind. But also underneath that 210 gallon reef tank, there was built in electrical outlets. So there were three areas to plug in equipment underneath um, in the stand of the aquarium. So that was like 12 outlets that I had under there. Um, so electrical was, uh, was directly underneath. So if anything leaked from this aquarium or if it just flooded, um, that could potentially be a fire too. So fire, water leak, water damage, all of that, just because there were two holes for a closed loop system. Um, at the time I didn't have experience with any closed loop system. So I never, um, thought about doing that or running that so I just ran it the normal way with the overflow and just plugged those two holes so I mean that was that's it that's the main thing that was worrying me constantly about this 210 gallon reef tank and now with the current tank that I have the 125 gallon reef tank that is like my perfect upgrade and so I've had people ask on the channel, why do you call it an upgrade? Why is this an upgrade? Well, the first reason is that the 125 is a brand new aquarium. Um, all my previous aquariums I bought used. So it's a brand new aquarium, which is a huge upgrade. And it's a 125, which is large enough to house the fish that I want and keep the corals that I want. Um, it's larger than my 75 gallon, so that's an upgrade. And I'm able to easily reach areas into the tank uh, without a giant ladder. So that's a huge upgrade. Let me know in the comments below if you have a large saltwater aquarium. Are there is there anything that you don't like about your current tank? Um, in general, if you have a smaller tank, is there anything that you currently don't like about your reef tank? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. 
but with the 125 gallon reef tank i don't have to worry about any of those things it's really easy now i'm much more confident with maintaining this tank i can reach everything a lot easier there's no need for me to climb on giant ladders which is a plus and water changes i mean water changes are really really easy with this and if you want to know the three reasons why water changes are beneficial for your reef aquarium go ahead and click on this video right here thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing to the coral reef talk and i will see you in the next one Thank you.